Welcome to Kids Church Online, where we do church together as a family. Today, we continue to discover Bible treasure as we follow the KCO team having fun Lego style. We also have prayer, memory verse, and of course, some silly stuff. Enjoy. Hey, bro. Hey, Joel. Hey, Nick. This is so exciting. Lego day. I am so happy you guys are here to play Lego with me at my house. There are so many pieces. Yeah. So what are we going to build today? Today, we are building my Batmobile to finish my Batcave off. Whoa. That's impressive. Wow. I don't even know where to start. That's going to be so many pieces. <laughs> How about to get us warmed up? We have a Lego building challenge! Everyone at home, get your Legos ready for our first building challenge. We're going to build the tallest tower or robot we can with pieces that are not already connected. And we're only going to do it in a short amount of time. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go! I'm just putting pieces together. Time's up! What'd you guys make? I made a tower. I made a window. Voltron. Voltron, defender of the universe! Wow! Look at that! That thing is huge! I wonder if anyone at home made one as big as Manix? Well, after that, I guess we'll build our Batmobile next. Hey guys, all these Legos remind me of the Bible. How's that? There are so many pieces. Oh, and there's so many truths in the Bible. <laughs> I remember three that we've been learning from KCO. God's, God's with, with me, me, God loves me, me, no matter what, he's good. And just like there's many square pieces in the Batmobile, there's many truths in the Bible that God is with me. And lots of round ones, just like the truth that God loves me is all over the Bible. And I found these long pieces all throughout, just like you can find God's truth that God is good all throughout the Bible. Just like there's lots of shapes, there are lots of truths all over the Bible. I think it's time for another Bible challenge. We're going to put our shapes down for a bit and pick up different colors, and we're each going to build a Bible using only three colors just like the three truths we've learned. Yellow, for God's with me. Red, for God loves me. And blue, that no matter what, he's good. God's with me, God loves me. No matter what, he's good. A Bible built out of just those three colors. Ready, set, go. Love building Lego Bibles. Everything is biblical. Everything is biblical when you play Lego. Listen to Marty's message. Yeah. Time's up. Did you guys build your red, yellow, and blue Bibles at home? It's time to show you ours. Mine is 3D. Mine is 2D. Mine is a pocket-sized Gideon Bible. Mine is a red letter ESV study Bible that opens. <gasps> what? what? That's amazing. Can I borrow that for my devotion? Sure. Oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. I love it that God's word is so full of truth. It's time for Pray and Do. Can you guess who is going to lead us in prayer today? Today we have the Penner family. Hi guys, my name is Christy and these are my kids. Today we're going to be building a tower of thanks. So we're going to be praying, thanking Jesus for things, and as we do, 
we're going to build a tower and see what kind of creation we build with our prayers. So I'm going to go first. Thank you, Jesus, for these fantastic kids you've given me. Thank you, Jesus, for my friends like Wayne Haley and many of us. Thank you, Jesus, for my toys. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for my mommy and daddy. Thank you, Jesus, for my food. Mm, food. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for your incredible love for us. Thank you, Jesus, for my nan and papa. It worked. That looks pretty good. Let's say, Amen. Awesome. What's up guys? I'm still ripping around on my bike for memory verse time. And today we're gonna find out from some of our kids' church friends how they hide God's word in their hearts. And here's the first one, memorizing Psalm 119, 162. Hey guys, it's Guillermo. I'm very excited to show you how I memorize the kids' church online memory verse. Have you ever tried memorizing the verse by typing it and bouncing at the same time? I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, verse 162. It helps getting the word in my head and my heart. I'm gonna keep practicing, and you guys should too. Yeah! I wonder how our next friend will memorize Psalm 119, 162. Hi, I'm Grace. Since our memory verse is about finding great treasure, I'm gonna memorize it treasure hunt style. I write the verse on a piece of paper and then cut it up into parts. Then I have a member of my family hide each part in the house for me to discover. When they're done, I go on a hunt through the house to discover great treasure. Once I memorize them all, I arrange it in the correct order and say it. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalms 119 versus 162. That's a fun way you can try to rise it together as a family. That is so good. Now let's see if you at home can say it with me. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, 162. So great. We'll be back with a few more KCO friends as they show us how they memorize Psalm 119, 162. Whew, we've been at it for quite some time now. Yeah, but we're getting there. It's looking pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of pieces we put together and we still have so many more to go. I <laughs> think it's time for another Lego challenge. This time, I'm gonna build something you have to guess what I'm building. Kids at home, see if you can guess what Joel is building too. It's, it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's, it's a person. Right, but who? It's Superman. I mean, no, it's you. Yeah, that's right. I built a Lego me. Kids at home, did you get it before Marty got it? I built a Lego me because I want God's truth in me. See how I use the same truth colors? God's with me, God loves me, no matter what, he's good. I want those truths in my life. That is so good. And just like it takes a lot of time to put all these pieces together to build the Batmobile, it takes a whole lifetime of putting God's truth in our lives, day by day, piece by piece. And that's how we build God's truth in our lives. That's why I read the Bible every day and talk to Jesus. And that's why I hang out with friends and grow in God. Whoa! Well, here's a strange piece. Where, where do you think it goes? I, I'm bewildered beyond belief. I don't know. It doesn't seem to fit anywhere. Maybe it came from a different set, not this one? No, I opened the box and it came from the set. That reminds me how in the Bible there are some things we might not understand. Just like in life, there's sometimes things that just don't seem to fit. And we have questions like, why did this happen to me? Or why did this happen in the Bible? Sometimes some things just don't seem quite right. 
But that's just because we don't understand yet. I think it's time for another Lego challenge! Oh! This time, everyone here, along with you at home, will have to find the strangest piece you can in only a matter of seconds. On your mark, get set, go! Time's up! Ooh. Oh, I think Marty's is the most unique. Mm. What about mine? Brock, that's literally the most common piece ever made. Oh, yeah. oh. How about you kids at home? Is yours stranger than Marty's? Or mine? Well, I had a strange thing happen to me where I was wondering, why is this happening to me? I had a friend who was not being very kind. You know, I was reading in the Bible and I didn't understand some of the words or even why some people were fighting. When strange things happen in our lives, or strange things happen in the Bible that we don't understand, we can always go back to the truths we do already know in the Bible. God's with me, God loves me, no matter what, He's good. That's right, and as we wait and build our lives on God's truth, even the strange peace will eventually have a place and make sense. But it takes time, so while we wait, we hold on to the truth that we know. you're not quite sure what to pray for? Sometimes when mom says it's time to pray, I don't know what to say. You know, we can talk to Jesus about anything. How we're feeling, something we can help with, we can pray for others, anything. And sometimes a little activity can help. So today we are going to be using a prayer paper to draw our prayers. So first of all, we're going to each think of something that makes us feel sad or happy or scared or mad or something like that we're going to draw a picture or write a word what are you writing i'm writing sometimes when i feel mad about writing my spelling word that i can come to jesus and pray that is a good one you know i just thought about how i'm so happy that auntie tanya shared her spaghetti squash with us so i do a funny spaghetti squash. Um, okay, now let's think of somebody we know that we can pray for. Someone who needs God's help or encouragement or something like that. Can you think of someone? Who are you drawing? I'm drawing Dad getting sick. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He needs some help. And I'm praying for, I'm drawing your cousin Mabel because she's going to be going to Hawaii soon for missions and I want to pray for her. Okay, now let's take our prayer paper and let's pray about these things. So I'm going to point to something and if it's yours, you pray about it. If it's mine, I'll pray about it, okay? Jesus, thank you so much for Auntie Tanya and that she shared her spaghetti squash with us. That was awesome. Dear Jesus, I pray that I wouldn't get mad about writing my spelling words. Will you please help me? Jesus, we thank you so much for Mabel and we pray that you would protect her on her trip. Dear Jesus, I pray that Daddy would feel better. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to draw a cross and we can shout together, Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Ready? Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We'll have the instructions written on the screen for you.
and we're back with Memory Verse Time, where we hide God's Word in our hearts. We've been hanging out with different KCO friends, while I bike around hearing how they practice memorizing God's Word. Let's check in with another friend memorizing Psalm 119, 162. Hey kids, Church Online, it's Ruth, and I am going to show you how I've been memorizing Psalm 119, verse 162 in a very unique way. You guys ready to rap? I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, verse 162. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, verse 162. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, verse 162. Oh yeah, we out. You can always make up a song or rap with your family to help you practice memorizing. Happy memorizing! We're having so much fun! Let's go to one more KCO friend. Hey kids, my name is Miles, and I'm here to show you how I memorize. All you need is a water bottle, pull the third to a quarter way through, and the memory verse, Psalm 119, verse 162. So how this works is if I land the water bottle flip, then I get to say one part of the verse. But if I don't, then I have to start over. So let's try that. Ready? I rejoice in your word. See now, since I missed it, I can't go on. So I have to start over. Let's try this again. I rejoice in your word. Like one who discovers a great treasure. Now, the last part here. I missed it. I can't say the reference. Let's try this again. Let's start from the beginning. Oh, come on, Miles. I rejoice in your word. Like one who discovers, I'm pretty good at this, a great treasure. Now the reference, Psalm 119, verse 162. Let's have fun, kids. That is so good. By now, I think you can all say it with me. I rejoice in your word, like one who discovers a great treasure. Psalm 119, 162. You guys are amazing! What a fun discovery as we help each other hide God's word in our hearts. Keep the memory work rolling and never tire of God's word. Lego is awesome. Oh, oh, hey guys, I'm so glad I found you here today. Oh, are you guys ready for a wild adventure? Yeah, what is a wild car? What is it? Oh man, the one that we've got for you today is a Lego adventure. Oh. We're on an adventure to look for a Lego Bible. Huh, to find a Lego Bible? You gotta think like a Lego! So if I were a Lego, where would I be? Whoa, look at us! We are Lego people! This is awesome! When you're Lego, everything is awesome! Now we will for sure find the Lego Bible fast. Legos are small, so they hide in small spaces. Legos are colorful, so they like to hide in colorful places. Legos like to lie around for people to step on with their bare feet. Ew! But it's not just one Lego piece, it's a Lego Bible that we're looking for. Oh, the Bible is a great adventure! Instead of looking where Lego would be, maybe we should look where treasure is found. Great idea! The best treasure is the Bible! And my Bible is always closest to my favorite chair. Look at that. There it is. Whoa. Oh, and it's a red letter Bible. That's so cool. Oh. Well, 
that was a fun adventure discovering a great treasure. I love the Lego Bible. And I can read Lego. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. So fun! Yeah, we are almost done building the Batmobile. And all the pieces are really starting to come together. It's starting to look like the image on the box. Oh, and you know what the best part is? Getting to share the Lego and doing this together. Yeah, it's a lot more fun than figuring this out all on my own. <laughs> Do you guys share your Legos at home? I think it's time for another Lego challenge. For this one, you guys are going to need three truth colors and you're going to make a truth stack for each person in your family. Yellow, red, and blue. For God's with me, God loves me, no matter what, he's good. So if you have a small family, you'll have lots of time, but if you have a big family, you're gonna have to hurry because each member of the family needs a set of these three truths. Are you ready? Are you ready? On your mark. Get set, go! I made two, one for Ron, one for me. How many did you make? I made four, one for me, my wife, Gideon, and Isabel. I ran out of time. I made one for my wife, for Ella Mae, for Molly, and Claire. Well, that's okay. You can grab the last pieces you need, and you can at home as well, because what we want to do is we want to share our Lego with our family and share the three truths with our family. You can bring your Lego pieces to each person in your family and tell them that, here's some Lego to remind you that, God's with me, God loves me, no matter what, he's good. Hey mom, I have a Bible truth to share with you. God's with me, God loves me, no matter what, he's good. Thanks, I love that when you share God's truth with me. Sharing our Lego is good to do, but it's even more important to share God's truth with our family and talk about Jesus. Well, that was fun. And look at that, we're all done the Batmobile. Hey, and remember this really strange piece? It has a perfect place to fit after all. And look what this strange piece does. Oh. Oh. Sometimes we have to wait on things we don't understand while we build our lives on God's word, which is truth. Well, we had so much fun teaching you guys the Bible today with Lego, and we want to issue one more bonus Lego challenge. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can do your own family Lego devotions at home and then send us pictures of your Lego creations. We would love to see your creations. You can email us pictures at kidschurch at mysouthland.com. Thanks for joining us at Kids Church Online. I hope you had fun. If you didn't get a chance to do the family activity, you can go back to our prayer time and get the instructions to do that together. You'll also want to practice our memory verse, Psalm 119 verse 162. We'll be back again next week with more Kids Church Online. To get us warmed up, we have a Lego building. <laughs> you can bring your Lego purses. You can bring your Lego pre. <laughs> you can bring your Lego pieces to each person in the family. <clears throat> you can bring your Lego. Oh, are you ready? You can bring your Lego. You can bring your Lego pieces to each person in your family to, to remind them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, let's go on an adventure. Yeah, I like adventures. Ooh, this fun. Hey, there's a ledge. Let's stop. Ooh. Are you okay, Wild Kyle? Amen to that. Agreed. You know what? I think it's time for a song. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when you build your life on God's truth. <laughs>